Hey guys, wanted to do a quick run through, show you guys a walkthrough of the uh, Trinity, a 2002 31 contender, fully restored and refitted at Boatronics. Uh, right off the bat, you can see the bo boat's covered in Sea Deck. Uh, that was by uh, Castaway Customs. Uh, John from Castaway Customs knocked it out of the park. Uh, the outside of the boat, boat is uh, Alex Seal Steel Gray. And the top sides are Alex Seal uh, Stardust. Uh, we also did the engines to match. Uh, painted them up nice. Moving into the boat, you start to see the upholstery by uh, Moose's Auto Interiors and more. Steve Musa. Fantastic job on all the upholstery. Uh, as he always does. Um, I guess starting at the back of the boat and moving forward, you can see our giant bilge hatch. Uh, the old bilge hatch was the size that you see there in the middle, and we extended it uh, to this large piece. Um, you might be wondering what this little guy is right here. That's a hatch sensor uh, by Siren Marine, part of our uh, monitoring system. We also have high water alarms, and uh, every hatch and console, etc., is rigged. Uh, with the alarm sensors um, Moving into the massive bilge area that you can comfortably get into and sit uh, We see the all bronze uh, plumbing and the seacocks that are uh, The ball valves that are extremely easy to get to you got our Marpac uh, Clear bowls with the floating ring in the bottom. So if that ring floats, you know that you have uh, water in your fuel um, We have our tanks um, all, all, all three tanks have two pickups, so any engine can pull off of any tank. And uh, we've got our transducers and our uh, shadow caster modules. Um, moving forward here, you see the T-top uh, built by Adam at All Aluminum Concepts. Absolutely gorgeous T-top. Um, you see the wraps on it done by uh, Rob and Brandy Preston of knotty wraps um, they did some uh, extensive wrapping on the boat comfort for our hands um, gorgeous helm right here the centerpiece of the helm is the uh, Simrad NSO 24S the brand new S model You've got a couple JL Audio 12's down there full RGB uh, we've got this all done in glass panel style. I'll try to do it from the side so you can see that there's, uh, you know, no seams anywhere. We've got our Yamaha gauge down here and our uh, Fusion Apollo Linco Auto Glide system. Uh, you've got full ma uh, manual control and automatic control, and it does. Uh, it's got a myriad of features. Boca Tech switches on the helm here. We've got a tilt tilt helms at both uh, upper and lower station. Moving into the upper station, you can see the Simrad NSS9. Another uh, wheel wrap done by uh, Naughty Wraps. Our second station here, Auto Glide. Our Halo 4 up here. More nice upholstery by Musa. Culver shade over top to keep us shaded. A couple extra pole holders in the back. Alright, moving back down here. Get to see where all the magic happens. Uh, console, more steel gray on the console. Everything on the entire boat is uh, powder coated black, as you can see. Uh, that's a lot of work to get all of that done. Uh, we got 49 pole holders on the uh, boat total. I don't think I've counted the cup holders. Um, the Rodan is not on the boat right now, so you can see the uh, molded fiberglass pad that we put in there. So that looks like part of the boat, not an afterthought. Uh, we fabbed up a, a nice holder to go in our uh, to hold our Rodan still, keep it from uh, bouncing around in the pole holder there. More speakers. We got RGB lights all the way around the boat. Castaway Customs again for the Sea Deck. Uh, all the bottoms of the hatches are done with C deck as well. Uh, moving into the console, you see the rigging that Boatronics is known for. Um, all the starboard stuff is on one side of the console and then mirrored 
by the port switch and port devices on the port side. We still got to put the uh, drain tubes on the rod holders. We'll hopefully get to that today. All lithium power. You got enough lithium in there to power the city. This thing will go all day and all night with uh, all these speakers pounding and all the lights on. Um, let's see. I got a little bit of clutter in here sitting around from our last trip. Some loose items, but you can see how we did the uh, fuse holders there. And uh, let me see, backing up so you can see the front a little better. I got a sensor there that I got to fix. There's a view from the front. And uh, that's it, guys. Hope you enjoyed. Um, if you have any questions about the boat or how we rigged anything, uh, love to love to answer them for you. Hope you enjoyed the video.